Hi guys, welcome back to Tutorials Point. Today we are going to learn about the ribs and the sternum. Now, these are the ribs we have in our body. We have 24 ribs in our body, 12 in each side. So simply we can see we have 12 pairs of ribs in our body. In each chapter we have always talked about the ribs. In heart, we said heart is well protected by the ribs. In the respiration, the lungs are well protected by the ribs. Now, in this chapter, let's talk about the ribs only. These are the ribs which, uh, whose main function is to protect the vital organ of our body. Isn't it our rib looks like a rib cage? That is why it is called a cage, a rib cage. In the back side, it contains a vertebral column and in the front, it comes, contain a sternum. And it is present between neck and the abdominal region. Now let's see the structure of ribs. Now you can see we have 12 ribs on each side. Now if we, if want, if we want to give the numbers to our ribs then we can give the numbers up to 12. Now in the back side it contains the vertebra. In front it contains the sternum. Now on the basis of connection with the vertebra and sternum we can divide the ribs into two parts the part of rib which is connected to the vertebra is called as the vertebral portion and the part of the rib which is connected to the sternum is called as the sternal part so the back back side of the rib is called as the vertebral portion and in the front part of the rib it is called as the sternal portion sternal portion also contains a part which is called as the costal cartilage and the connection between the ribs and sternum actually divides the ribs into three parts it also contains a special portion below sternum which is called as the xiphoid process now let's divide our ribs on the basis of connection of these ribs to the sternum ribs are actually of three types the true, the false and the floating ribs. True ribs are the one which are directly connected to the sternum. Here you can see up to number 1 to 7 the ribs are directly con connected to the sternum. These ribs 1 to 7 which are directly connected to the sternum through which portion? Through the costal cartilage. This, these ribs are called as the true ribs but from 8 to 10 these are called as false ribs you can see here these ribs 8 9 10 these are not directly connected to the sternum but they are connected to the seventh rib that is why they are called as the false rib now last 11th and 12th are not connected to sternum and to any of the rib that is why they are called as the floating ribs as they are free they are not connected to sternum so we have three true ribs directly connected to the sternum false rib which are connected to sternum but not directly indirectly as they are connected to seventh rib then the floating rib which are not connected and they are free now Let's learn about the function of rib. We know rib protects our vital organ. It also helps an, us in respiration. It protects our kidneys also. Now let's learn structure of sternum. The tie shaped middle portion between our rib is called as the sternum. This portion is although very small but very important as ribs are connected to this portion and because of this portion our rib cage is complete otherwise our cage will be incomplete it contains three main part the manubrium the body and the xiphoid process they makes a complete sternum process now this sternum is present in the middle of the ch uh, chest and it is present in the ventral side of our chest the main function of the sternum is to make the rib cage and the main function of the sternum is to make a proper balance between all the ribs 
so in this video we have learned about the ribs the importance of ribs the structure of ribs and sternum i hope you understand the concept thank you tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning